Hello and welcome to Infinity. I did a video not long ago on solarizing and one of my viewers called Esmo Machine said you can do that with curves and I investigated and they're right so let's have a look. So we start off from here and hit Control J to duplicate it. First of all we'll do the traditional Affinity way which is filters, colors and solarize and there's no controls you just get what you're given so here we go this is like a sky as you get in science fiction movies isn't it oh, now we know how they do it and let's go to this one now so we've turned that off so doing another one and we'll put on some curves and what we do is we pull down this and we pull up this so this is like an N shape or inverted U. And if you want to compare the two, we we'll just, here's the affinity one and here's this one. So it's kind of, a, it's a bit, we need to make it darker. So a way to do that is just pull down the middle. So here we go. So in other words, what was here is going to be halfway bright instead of fully bright. How's this look? There's the original there's this, so it's not quite there. What we want to do is to turn this into a triangle. So I'll pull this one down to the middle point there. So I've got markers that I can do exactly the same the other side. And we'll turn that on and off. And that's a lot closer. So we'll make this down here, pull this in just to the, into the middle of that one there. And similarly into the middle of that square there and then we'll pull this one down a bit again and this one and it again so that's a pretty good triangle we've got now and let's turn see the original and this one here we go we pretty much got that fixed so what we're going to do then with this i'm going to hit a control j here and get rid of the curves on there so i've got just an ordinary one here and this layer on top but now we've got it we can edit it and we'll put a mix on here. Let's put one of the things you can do with it is exclusion, which gives sort of interesting colors. And we'll just play around with the curves here. If I do a reset, pull this down and then just pull this up to the middle again. That's the it, it without the it's, it's squared off. How about if we pull it all the way up? See, we're changing that effect there. So we're getting actually a bit more colours into the sky here. How about if we bring this down here to that point so we can do exactly the same the other side. But it doesn't have to be symmetrical. But we've got more colour. Look at the way the, the sky here. This is really quite interesting. If it's getting a bit on the powerful side, we can take the opacity and we can turn it down. That's, that's not actually, I like it like that, isn't it? That's that's quite an interesting effect. You can bring this down if you want it not so strong, or even you can change the shape of the whole thing. So look at the way the colours here are changing. And look at this. Oh yeah, that inverts it. So in other words, you can play around with this. That's the bottom line of it all. You can create different colours and different shapes and so on. You've now got a solarize that is customizable, that can be fiddled with. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and thank you for my kind viewer who let me know about it. Bye for now.